Hey guys, I am Alex Taylor. I am a drag racer. I have a twin turbo 68 Camaro, but today we're gonna be doing something different. I will be racing in Cletus's 2.4 hours of Les Molets at the Freedom Factory on November 14th. As I just said, my background is drag racing. And I have actually never ever raced anything where I have to turn at higher speeds. So, we've been talking. We wanted to get a little practice not because I think that it'll just make me insanely competitive, but rather because I would like to know what I'm getting into prior to getting there. So thankfully, I talked to my friends at Holly and they actually knew somebody with Crown Vic that was perfect because that's what we will be racing at the Freedom Factory. So let's get started and show you what's going on today. I am so pumped. Right now we are at the Beach Bend Raceway. So the really cool part about this is that there is a drag strip over there, which I am familiar with. But right now we are in their asphalt circle track. This is totally new to me. I have been here, but I have never actually obviously driven anything around this other than like a pit bike or something like that. Look over there though. Do you see it? Do you see the butte? That's what we'll be driving today. Okay. Here's the car, here it is. So get this, three days ago, it wasn't even painted, it wasn't built, it wasn't ready. They built this specifically for this. Right now, we're checking to get the seatbelts, everything right, I can get my hands on, all the safety stuff. And you're like two inches from the steering I wheel. Am. But they said that that's apparently what you want. You want to be that close because they said if you're out here, your arms get tired, which makes sense. I would, I would I have thought, thought you wanted to be stretched out. I would think I'm, I think I'm in here now. This is, um, it's interesting because I'm uncomfortable, you know, in bad marrow for like, I don't know, a minute maybe when it's all said and done. This, I am strapped out. I said, how do I tighten this? He said, take a deep breath and pull them down. So, oh, you're really cinched oh, in. Oh, you are cinched in here. Back. All right, so you're running two. D2. D2. Yeah. Easiest way to find it is just go all the way down and then one up. Okay. Uh, I don't think it did it. No. Okay. And it's our straight now? Yep. Okay. Up and 
disappointed running up the track here. Sometimes you're gonna have to use the gas and the brake oh, at the I same was time. Switching, wasn't I? Yeah, that's so all I looked down to see. Dang, okay. That's all right. I should all right. Know better. Okay. So now I want you to just run the same speed we did. I want to start using a little bit of brake getting in. Okay. That way you feel power brakes because power okay. brakes feel really goofy compared to manual brakes. Okay. All right. Then when you use a brake, you're just gonna drag. You're just gonna kind of um, try to think. Um, you're gonna drag the brakes down into the turn. You're not gonna use them a whole lot. You're just gonna kind of drag them in. You're just kind of gonna set the car down in the turn with the brakes, okay. and that'll help that uneasy feeling that you're feeling when you let off the gas. Okay. But the biggest thing you gotta watch is you gotta come all the way off the gas. All the way off the gas. Okay. So like even when I'm going full speed later in the race, I will want to be all the way off the gas. For you have to be, or else it'll never turn. Okay. Because okay. it has to do with unlocking the rear end. Because it's a posse, gotcha. okay. so when that posse has to unlock to let the car roll around, okay. and be diligent and be disciplined about staying off the gas until it's rolled past the center. Roll past, okay. Because so, you'll you'll gain in the middle, uh -huh. but you're going to give a car off down uh, up off. Okay, okay. And then question for concept purpose, so that way I'm not just here. I want to hear what you're saying. I want to make sure I'm understanding. So, Go ahead. goal on straightaways is to be as far out as possible. Yeah. Get that. Yeah. Get as much straight speed there. Yeah. You want to use all the exit speed because the wider you make this, the more throttle you can get coming up off the turn. Okay. So then coming into the turn, I start easy, and then once we're at like peak of the turn, that's when you turn hard. And that that's going to change with the speed you pick up. Okay. You see what I'm saying? You're going to have to put more wheel input into it earlier as you pick speed up. Okay. So yeah. what we're working on is we're trying to get to the apex and then touch the middle and then drive straight off from the apex. That's what we're working on. Okay. All right. I got you. Okay. That makes sense? It does. All right.
I think you're good enough to go here. Okay. What do you think? I think so. I think so. Okay, update time. So, just made some passes with Will in the passenger seat. Well, the lack of passenger seat and Bill in the back. So, it's a little, that was fun. That was fun. But the main thing is that I see that there is definitely theory to this. Well, I already knew that, that, you know, you don't just go turn left, but there's a lot of points. So he's working on helping me like learn how to get, so like what to do on the straights and then when to turn into the turn, how to use braking gas to get into the turns and then when to turn out, like how to get out of the turn and maximize your speed and get around the corner. It's I don't even know how to explain it. That's what it is. So right now what they're doing is setting up trash cans so I can see my entry points and then my exit points. That way I can see when to get into it. So I just rambled. But by the end of the day, I hope I can explain that well because that will mean that I have learned. But there's a lot, there's a lot different than I expected. I can say that there is, we got some practice to do. But we got all day, all day to do this. Guys. This is fun. This is fun. I like this. Can't say it too loud, but I really like this. So we got trash cans out. Can okay. We, can we? You want to walk over there? Yeah. Can you yeah. Let's do that. Like this is the this is where you need to be the lowest point right here. Your aim is part of your car, okay? okay? And let's hope that at some point here the front end starts to turn to the left. Okay. And you'll feel that in the car. Okay. And you can start picking the gas back up. Okay. Easily, okay? Not wide open. I got it. My We're bad. gonna hit that's, that's, that's my bad. Okay, here. Sorry. <laughs> that's, that garbage can Sorry, like, I'm gonna pretend that's Cletus. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna hit that garbage can. <laughs> So as it rolls to the left. So roll the front end goes to the left. Okay. And you don't even go straight. Okay. Then, okay. You're, then you're on the drag strip. Okay. You can go as hard as you can go. Okay. And you'll you'll know you'll feel that in the car. So you get as much gas as you can okay. until the car starts going sideways. Or, or push it. Or push it. Then the front end starts, if it's going straight, the front end starts going back to your right. You'll have to lift. Okay. The car comes back to the left. And start feeding the gas back up straight. So my visual path right here from like this point forward is just straight, easy, well. Flag it's stand. Hard, it's flag, okay. Aim for the flag stand. Okay. okay. So I am wanting to, okay. I see I'll stand at the flag stand so that we have visual. Okay. That's kind of a big flag stand, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so after we did the track walk and kind of learned the points after riding in the car, before I actually got serious about really practicing, they wanted me to just go out and drift around and get a feel for the car. So we did that nice. Good experience right yeah, there. Yeah, I'm gonna help her. That would have been on the lay mullet. Right. That's a bad time to do it. Yeah. yeah. What did I do? What did I do wrong? Okay. I'm too confident. Don't get on the gas Just so hard. Too I'm yeah. too much gas. Yeah. Finesse. Can I drive real slow last? Yeah, you don't have to go fast. Okay, I'm yeah. gonna go slow. You do you do you. Okay, I'm gonna right. go slow. When you get crossed up like that, if you think you're in trouble and it starts to overcrate, just lock it down. Lock it down brakes. Yeah, just stop it. That's what I did that time. Yeah. After I figured it out. Yeah. Okay. But you see how slow the steering box is? It is. You're way behind. Okay, 
before you know it. I think I have a question that I'm okay. Here, where do, I don't where your feel hands? enough movement. Yeah, it's like see, like right there, I'm hitting my shoulder. I know. Okay, so what you have to do because the string box is slow, you got to turn. You have to turn. To, you have to turn it and get this one all the way down, and you might have to grab this one and turn again. So that's okay. okay yeah. So there. Okay. It's not straight. Okay. It's not quite. I mean, it's not like what. I it's not that. ideal. Okay. Okay. difference I can already see it I don't know what I'm oh, looking yeah, at yes. okay guys so I'm feeling better so I am so glad that I'm getting this time because the concepts and the theories are something that I would not have known myself like of course you know maybe after making pass after pass like maybe you'd start to pick it up but like being able to visually see with these barrels and see like okay like i need to cut deeper and like my biggest thing that i'm struggling with is breaking gas so like coming into the corners i am not hitting the brake as much as i should i need to hit the brake harder and come in deeper and then get on the gas sooner, like after the apex. So that's where I'm struggling, not struggling, but that's my weak point right now, I think. But I'm starting to feel, get a feel for it. So we got all day, guys. This is a blast. I'm having so much fun. So uh, it is time for a quick pit stop. I guess I kind of got the tires a little hot. Not as, not as Okay. New tires. Second lap, new tires. They're impressed as she's doing her braking gas better. I can feel a lot of improvements. The last five laps I did or so were so much better. So the biggest thing that I was talking about that they were saying that I needed to work on was coming into the corners deeper and faster, but hitting the brakes sooner. So to make the straight on the other side longer. So that's what I was working on. That's been really helpful. So like I've noticed my entry and my exit is so much smoother. There's a lot less downtime. This is so much fun. I am having so much fun, but they are amazing teachers. So I make a couple laps, pull me over, tell me what I'm doing wrong or need to work on, and then we go again. So I'm getting ready to go, make probably 10 to 15 more, and then, surprise! I had no idea this was happening. We're going to go drive a C8 at the road course in Bowling Green. That is so awesome! I had no idea that was happening today, but that is the plan, so we're gonna do that. First, we got more laps to make in this. Pull back. 
top. So, got my laps in. I think that's as good as it's gonna get for now. Rain I feel close. confident in it. It's a, uh, it's been a good day. But we're gonna finish it off with a couple more donuts. So, they're changing tires right now. Changing tires. What's this I didn't control. mean to. It's your fault. Who encouraged you to do That's this? You, uh, you. I think it was Will. It's you. That guy. Mm -hmm. Bad so, it's you know either what? a. Damn. <laughs> He's going to sit and build, build the belt. It's either an intake or a belt. It's either an intake or a belt. Can you stop making noise? I'm sorry. <laughs> We'll, be, we'll use that. <laughs> okay, so I'd say that's it for today. We almost ended on like really good terms. We did. Driving went great. Right. The crown big. It's hurt, huh? Well, I'm, I'm surprised it. Uh, I'm surprised it suffered that from doing a burnout because I know where the car come from and it done a lot of burnouts before. <laughs> so you're telling me it's not necessarily my fault. Oh, it is your fault. No, it is now. <laughs> <laughs> you were driving. <laughs> But uh, I don't think it. I don't think it's anything major. It was Bill's honestly. fault. He told you to do it right. It's Bill's fault. Yeah. You could have quit on that first one. Quit. That's alright. It's better to do it now. But you're gonna race next weekend, right? I don't know. It doesn't look like it. Shoot. <laughs> Just put some mustard Watch in the radiator. Step. It'll fix oh. it. The cars. Bill, you've been blamed. Now I broke their race weekend next weekend. I'm pretty sure they could fix it between now and next weekend. You said they couldn't. They don't have tools. I don't know. Don't have gaskets where they're from. She saved you the humiliation of breaking next weekend. Right. Kept me from yep. breaking the car next week. Right. So I guess what I'm trying to say is thanks, Thank Alex. You. You're so welcome. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way he thinks. Okay. Seriously though, I'd say today was like absolutely undescribably helpful for what's about to come. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'd been a long day for you. Would have been a long uh, day. Next Saturday. Especially if they didn't give you all any practice or hardly any practice. I don't think we get any practice. That's even worse. So I'd say <laughs> from start to finish, do we have any lap times? Do we know what rough? I the, Early on, I had you in the high 21s, and at the end, we were uh, 20, 40s. Oh, so a So that was, that was a significant change. So, better. And I, I, don't, I don't think you're even timed the first few that were horrible. Sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, Bill says you shouldn't even have a driver's license. <laughs> Like he's not sure how you got here. <laughs> she rode. <laughs> she rode. Man. No, okay. I, she did great. The first couple were rough. It ended strong. I feel much more confident for next weekend. You're a good teacher. I try. You're I try. Good teacher. You're the you they've only, how they've it only is. went three laps in their lives. So <laughs> do a lot of eye racing. Yeah. <laughs> watch uh, watch ESPN. Good coverage. Uh, okay, okay, yeah, I see it. Okay, so huge thank you to both Bill and Will Kimmel. You guys made this possible, and huge thank you to Holly, because they are especially the ones that made it possible, because uh, I didn't know where a crown pick was. <laughs> I didn't know where a track was. I don't think you even knew how to turn left. I didn't know how to turn left. I'm told me. Well, she wasn't turning far enough <laughs> I didn't know any of it. Okay, so huge thank you to the Kimmels, and to our friends at Holly. Um, it was a good day, but we're about to finish it even better than it was already. We're going to drive C8s. Yeah. Yeah. Is that better? Huh? Is that actually better? Yeah, they're, no, I their said, intakes don't leak. I, yeah. said, <laughs> I said we're ending it better than it already is. Like it's already like up here. Yeah, you like, trash this one. What are you gonna do to the C8? Hurdles, though, when you're Instantly do a burnout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't feel like that'll go good. Okay, I'm sorry about your car again. It's okay. Sorry. I don't think it takes a person. You do. Watch your step. Are you good? <laughs> We're good. We are at NCM Motorsports Park.
Park, which if you don't know, that is the Corvette track in Bowling Green, Kentucky, where Corvettes are actually produced. So I finished up at the asphalt track, made all kinds of passes, so cool. Well, something got said about going to road course, and here we are, I'm about to drive a C8 Corvette and have teaching from an actual instructor that's at the track. Okay, so the plan right now is we're just gonna be working on more line understanding, like understanding how to pick a line. So I am going to ride along, watch how that goes, watch how to do it, and then I am going to drive. That's cool. It is just a cool day. I am so excited. see somebody like sawing at the wheel mm -hmm. you've got a car that's just not they are either un, like over driving it doing way too much or right. the car is just all over the place okay. so you are it's very it's like one movement a solid like your first movement needs to be the movement the movement and like once you get to throttle you know both of your feet inputs mm -hmm. you know they're not light switches they're dimmers right so hey, I need to put a little bit of a weight on the rear, but I don't want all the, you know, all the sauce. Uh -huh. So putting like here, we'll go through 10 here, and like I'm gonna get to throttle, and you can feel the weight go back, but yeah. that's only 20% throttle, right? So okay. that puts the weight where I want it, and then I can ask for more when it's time to go for more. here. 
legitimately quite possibly the coolest thing I think I've ever done that was so cool so like it was awesome to drive it it was even cooler to ride in it because he's fast and that was awesome that was so cool I gotta go again I gotta do it again and that is it for our practice today thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it because I know I did today was awesome now I'm ready Florida but that's it for now be happy, go fast, and stay pretty. I will see you guys next time.